Good morning, everyone. It is Mike from the Pipe Doctor. We're doing a tune-up on this hydrotherm boiler. And one of the first things that I have noticed when we walked, started walking down the staircase was a smell, a burning smell of kind of like carbon. Um, not carbon monoxide, because that does not smell, but uh, I did smell that, and it's coming from the hydrotherm 120 5000 BTU boiler. Guys, this is a great example why you should carry the Testo 317 personal carbon monoxide monitor because as you can see I have 40 particles per million in this customer's basement and what's really odd with this boiler and I will turn it on now but coming out of the boiler 35 with just the pilot on we're gonna turn on the valve which I set the pilot to on and I want you to watch the back of the boiler Kind of hard to see but we do have flames kicking out of the back of the boiler now before when i first got here i just took a look at the top of the burners they all are clean and i was expecting there to be you know those pillows of wow those pillows of carbon monoxide uh, um pillows of carbon resting on top of it also on the base of the the boiler but there was none present my monitor analyzer already went into sensor protection mode because the CO is over 18,000. So we're gonna take this boiler apart, top of the boiler apart, and see what we can do for this customer. Hopefully we can save this boiler. Stay tuned. All right guys, this is part two. I've taken off the top of the boiler jacket and removed the draft hood, the internal draft hood, cast iron draft hood, and I'm exposing the top of the heat exchanger. As you can see, it is filthy. And we will Yep. I think the best thing to do is to uh is to do the do All right, follow-up video. Um, with the help from the homeowner, we scrubbed the cast iron sections clean and put everything back together. We're doing a combustion analysis now. I did have to crank down the gas valve a little bit to uh, bring down the pressure across the gas valve to lower the carbon monoxide, which was almost a 300 particles per million. Now we're at 27 and holding. But most importantly, you know what? Regardless of if it's fixing a boiler or not, if it's not running safely like this one is now running safely, then there's no point of doing anything. You know, just put your tools back in the truck and drive away, go home. If you're not going to make the boiler safe, it does not pay to put your client's lives and their family in jeopardy. So, this boiler will be replaced in the near future. We'll probably put in a Burnham ES2 540,000 BTU boiler and we'll redo all the zone piping and the flue piping to the water heater, which should be four inch, it is now three inch. So this six by three Y will become a six by four Y and we'll drop this down a little bit and redo it to there. And then he also needs a stainless steel chimney liner. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button, hit the little notification bell to get video uh, notifications when we post new videos and drop your thoughts, feedback, comments, Hate mail down below in the comment box. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.